Hi, this is Patty from wigsbypattyspearls.com. This is called Wigs Tips and Tricks 101. A lot of you have bought wigs, but nobody has taken the time to give you the very basics. How do you really do it? And I want you to know that. You know what I liken it to? I hate it when they show these beautiful girls in the Glamour magazine or Allure or whatever and they say, this is how you do the makeup and you're going to look like her. Well, you do every step that they say, but you never look like her. And it's because they're the little tricks they don't want to tell you. Well, honey, I'm clearing it out today and I'm letting you know the truth. The first thing is, how in the heck do you take care of it or fix it or whatever? I've got a secret for you. You don't have to have a professional tripod and a stand and a canvas head and all this and that. I want you to go to your Sally's or to your beauty supply and I want you to buy a styrofoam head. All of the styrofoam heads have a little hole in the bottom. Now with that little hole in the bottom, you get your everyday plunger. And you put that styrofoam. Ta-da! Who knew? I sit down. I swear, I've done this. I sit down. You put the plunger on, on the, the floor. Attach it. You put the plunger between your knees. You hold the stick. You put the wig on. And you stick it in with a few picks. And you start combing. And you start styling. And you can turn it around. You now have your own wig stand from Home Depot for um, $3, $6, about less than $10. You've got a wig stand to work on. That's one thing. On our website, we are going to start offering, we're going to get it up as soon as we can. It's a little plastic wig clamp. And you clamp it right here onto your countertop or whatever. Turn it at the bottom to make it nice and tight. Now you have this little thing, see that turns around? This is really good if you're going to take the frizz out like we've shown you with the steamer or if you're going to curl your heat defiant or whatever. Now you've got this onto your kitchen cabinet or a table. Now you take your little styrofoam head, put it on there, and you can fix your wig just like the pros do. Okay, so you don't have a stand, and you don't have a styro head or whatever. How do you control the wig? You must own that wig, and it doesn't own you, precious. Here's what I want you to do. When you first get your wig, this is a little Nita, which is in our Smart Lace selection. I want you to put out whatever hand that you don't use predominantly. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put my left hand out. I'm going to take the Nita wig, and here's the top, here's the bang, and I'm going to place it on top of my hand. I'm just going to rest it there. Now, all of a sudden, I hope you can see this. I'm going to hold it still, V, so you can maybe even zoom in. Let me walk down here, because I think this is important. If you hold the wig on top of your left hand, then spread your fingers out so that the fingers are going through the holes of the wig cap. And now it's spread out your fingers like a ball glove. Now, all of a sudden, you have control over the wig. I'll show you what I mean. Let me go around here. Now, before I put the wig on, especially long ones, because they can get kind of hard to handle, you put the wig over your ball glove hand, and now I have control. I can comb this little wig, get it all ready, and then I can put it on, and it's much more manageable. That's one way to take care of it, the styrofoam head. Of course, if you want to, you can go the canvas head and do the whole thing. But this is really a good way. The next thing I want to talk about is the monotops. The monotops and the lace tops have been so fantastically well received because people love the fact 
that you can look down on my head and you're going to see my skin. Can you see that? This is a monotop. It's all done by hand. And if you look through there, you can see how each, well, actually it's not one little hair, it's like two or three hairs are taken together. And then the person who does this goes through this netting, pulls it through, knots it, and does that hundreds and hundreds of times in order for you to have such a natural looking crown. That's what a monotop's all about. It's just your scalp showing through, and it's made in a direction of normal, of normal hair. So I'm going to show you what that means when you put it on. When you put it on, this is the Aaliyah. I think this is uh, 27T613 Aaliyah. Now, I've got a mark here that shows your hairline. So your hairline's right there, and it's like four fingers up from your brow bone. You've got your two temple tabs there even. Now, all of a sudden, I want this to go over that way. I want it to be parted on the left, and I'd like for this to go up and back. How am I going to do it? It showed it in the pictures, but nobody's telling me. I'm going to tell you, sweetie. What I want you to do is part the wig. Now, wherever you part the wig, the body heat from your fingers and the heat from your head will cause this to be parted anywhere. Because it's hand done, you can change this part daily or every minute if you want. And I want you to take your fingers, put it down on that part, and see I'm not doing the rest of the hair. Can you see that? I've got my fingers up high and I'm holding it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm pressing and printing. Pressing and printing. Now, why did I show you that specifically that way? If you put your whole hand on it like this, and you're pressing and you're printing, you're going to basically flatten the whole way. And if that's what you want, go for it. But most people want a part and maybe just a little bit of natural poof like this is. Press and print. Now let's go to the lace front. And you want this to go back. You don't want it to fall like that. So let's get it the way we want it to go. And this is especially helpful if you have it on the head because you can put your fingers there. Now I'm going to press and print, but look, I'm going to put my hands, my fingers back because I want to take this back and keep it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press and print. Press and print. And now you've got a beautiful face framing wig 